Yeah. What do you? Oh yeah. Fish. Oh. Man, we just got off the water. Holy shit. Man, feeling. <laughs> All right, y'all. The date is September fifth, twenty twenty two, and uh, it's my birthday. I'm turning eighteen. For our eighteenth birthday, we're taking the boat out on Half Moon Bay. This is the first for you guys. A little bit scary because we're going out in the ocean, which is something we've never done with this boat. But uh, you know, hopefully, we have some fun and catch some, uh, some fish. The goal is rock fish and link cod. Zach's steering the boat. We're going out of Pillar Point Harbor. Let's catch some fish. All right, y'all. We're out on Half Moon Bay. Like I said in that intro, we're taking our 12 foot Alumacraft John boat. You heard that right, John boat. Out in the ocean for rock fish and link cod. If you guys don't know what those are, they're, uh, I guess the best way I could describe them is the aliens of the Pacific Ocean. They look really weird, they look really funky. Hopefully we catch some to show you guys. Um, but the goal is to go offshore to a reef about two miles from the harbor, get some rockfish, get some lingcod, hopefully get limits, and then come back inshore and maybe get a halibut or two in the sandy bottom. It's gonna be a crazy day. Zach, you got anything to say? Try not to get my pants. I was up till about 4 a.m. last night too, so not feeling too great, but once you catch a fish, it'll be all better. Exactly. So we got about a 45, 50 minute boat ride out to the spot, which is a little bit scary. We're trying to be as safe as we possibly can. Life jackets, VHF radios. Let's get out there. All right, y'all. I hope the GoPro does this does justice. We are in most definitely the roughest conditions this boat has ever been in before. About four foot swells, two foot swells. Fortunately, it's every seven to nine seconds, so it's not horrible. This boat is handling it like a champ. Not a single drop of water has been on the boat. We're actually chilling right now, Zach. Yeah. That being said, there is this big one right here. This is what I mean. I'm not sure if you guys saw, but there's some pretty big, some pretty big waves out here. It's really fun, but like, look at this. God. Ooh, look at this one. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so we're almost to the fishing spot, which is a little reef just outside of Half Moon Bay. We're gonna get our rods down and kill some rockfish and link up. All right, Zach's checking the fish finder. Time for me to drop a bait. Holy shit, dude, it dropped so deep. 91 feet, 128 feet, 105 feet. So it's like a hundred feet. Find the right green. Oh! Got one? Oh, I had one. Say that? Yeah. What do you Oh, yeah! Fish! Oh! <laughs> okay. Fish! Gaffer or net? Uh, I think, want? I don't know. But get... Oh, my. Oh, bro, that was sick. That was instant. Get him up here. This is my first fish on the boat. Oh yeah, his head shaking. Bro, he's, he's swimming up hella. That was quick. Oh, oh it's a rockfish. Oh. 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 Give me some! Give me some! Oh. Oh. Keeper? Yeah, are you kidding me? What is that? That's a rockfish. What type of rockfish? I don't know. Bro, that's sick. That thing's huge. Bro, that shit fought so hard. Nah, did you see that fight? Yeah. Okay, okay. Bro, good shit. Imagine what a link cut's gonna be like. Look at here. Bro, that is so sick. Nah, <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> Feels sandy. Oh, oh, got one. No. Oh my god, dude, that was such a big bite. Oh shit. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, dude, what? So we lost our fish, y'all. I don't really know what happened to it. But uh, unfortunately, that fish was not for us. I'm more pissed off about losing the game clip because now we can't really hold the fish in the water, which is a little unfortunate. But it is what it is. the net or the gaff.
gonna keep reeling, bro. Oh, that's sick. A uh, gap? Mm. Okay, he's big enough to keep. Yeah, yeah. Just. Let's go, baby! Good stuff, Zach. Let's go! Okay, we're just gonna leave that right there. Dude, I legit thought there was a shark. We don't even know. I saw my own shadow. Yeah. It just looks like a shark. Okay, open the tackle box and get me the knife. Okay, I hope you guys can see us right now. We, man, we just got off the water. Holy shit. Man, feeling it. <laughs> we are feeling it. We didn't get a ton of sleep last night, let's just say. It was the night before my birthday, so we uh, we did not get a ton of sleep. I think that's the best way to describe it. We had fun last night. We had fun last night. And the number one rule of boating, always get a good night of sleep before you got in the water. But we did not do that. So we're dead right now, like fully dead. We uh, caught four rockfish in total. One of them somehow escaped mysteriously. We'll talk about that maybe once we get all the stuff back into the car. But right now we're heading to the car to get all the stuff back in the, on the, from the boat on the car. And then we'll fillet all the fish and cook it up once we get home. But phew, we are hurt. As we drive up to uh, the house to go cook the fish, we of course have to stop for some fine dining. Zach, would you like to uh, explain the tradition of Taco Bell so at Half Moon Bay? Every time we fish at Half Moon Bay, which has been like twice so far, I've been on a couple charters, we always go to Taco Bell after and get some tacos and shit our pants. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so for me, I got a burrito supreme, a mac and cheese bowl, four churros, and a root beer. Zach, what'd you get? I got two of these crunchy tacos because I'm still haven't yacked yet from the boat. Water, and then I got a bunch of these hot sauces to make me even shit fire. All right, y'all. Before I, I finish up today's video, you know, I just wanted to, to mention one thing in particular. I should, this is 100% my bad, um, and I'm taking full responsibility for this. Uh, and I know you guys are gonna talk about this in the comment section down below. I should have read the rules and regulations. I did not realize it was a two hook limit. Uh, you guys might notice on the rig that I was using, uh, I had, you know, a two hook shrimp, like shrimp fly rig. And at the bottom, instead of using a weight, I used a jig head that had a hook on it. Um, fortunately, I don't, I didn't get any fish on that last hook. So it wasn't the end of the world. Uh, or, yeah, it wasn't the end of the, yeah, it wasn't the end of the world. Um, but that is illegal. Uh, you're not allowed to use more than two hooks. I'm gonna learn from my experience and not do that in the future. So technically speaking, the fish that we harvested were illegal. Um, so that is 100% my bad. I'm taking full responsibility for that. Um, like I said, it's not gonna happen again. Uh, if you notice too, Zach had a treble hook, um, but that technically counts as one hook. So that one treble hook technically is counts as one hook, even though it has four or three hook points on it. I know that's a bit confusing, but he was legal, I was not. So only one of the fish that we caught today was uh, was legal. Um, but yeah, so it's the rules are two, uh, one rod per person, uh, two hooks max per line. Um, so that is my fault. I apologize. Uh, thank you. There was someone that reached out to us on Instagram. I'm, I'm blanking on the name, but he Instagram DM'd us when we posted a photo of us fishing uh, at the spot. And he, you know, he reached out to us and he, and he told us. And I really appreciate that because, you know, we're, we are really trying to do our best. 
uh, by following all the rules and regulations because you know it's it's for the it's for the good of the fishery so i do appreciate you uh, calling us out on that i really do and like i said i do take full responsibility for that i should have checked the rules and regulations um but you know like i said it is what it is and we're not going to do it again in the future that is a big mistake on my part um yeah like i said you know a uh, big mistake on our part, but still an amazing day of fishing. One that I'm not gonna forget for a really long time. If you enjoyed today's video, you guys might wanna check out some of our halibut content. Uh, in fact, I'll post one of our good halibut videos right here. Hopefully you guys can go and watch that. It's a really cool video. Um, and with that being said, we'll see you next Wednesday at 5 p.m.